As Ukrainians flee areas under attack by Russia, there are some that can't leave. And as CBN Middle East correspondent Julie Stahl tells us, some are choosing to stay behind to help them. Kiev's chief rabbi, Rabbi Jonathan Markovich, and his wife, Ina, made a tough decision. We decided to stay in Kiev, not because we're careless, but on the contrary. We have a flourishing community of 2,500 Jews here that depend on us. Many of them have nowhere else to go. The Markoviches moved to Ukraine from Israel with their seven children 21 years ago. Ina described the situation in Kyiv over the last few days. It was very frightening because there is no infrastructure here in Kiev, no bomb shelters, no uh, organized information or help from the government as unfortunately we used in Israel. Even the alarm was very weak, we could hardly hear it. We live at the center of Kiev, we saw smoke and immediately we heard that the airport was bombed. When news of trouble broke out, many citizens and others fled Kyiv and Ukraine, but not everyone could go. People who left are the wealthy and young and those who can afford themselves to work from outside or to live outside of the country for some time. The people who stayed here uh, are those who are not able for different reasons, health or finance or others. Those people that stay here, it's those people that cannot leave the country, they cannot leave the city, and even most of them, they cannot leave this, the houses. So the KJC, Kiev Jewish Center, got ready for those in need. We prepared 50 mattresses and six tons of food so, uh, and we have a big kitchen. The idea is that people could come here. There is no bomb shelter, as there's no bomb shelter anywhere. But at least we are together, we can feed them, uh, we can cheer, uh, cheer up each other and be together. Normally the rabbi and his wife do home visits. So one of the ladies I visited, she's 104. She survived the Nazis. She was holding my hands, crying, please don't abandon us. She's not the only reason, but we have 200 like her out of the 800 food parcels and, and needy people. The Markovich's son and his wife fled their home and came to KJC early on the first day of the Russian invasion. Situ situation as we see it, waking off to sirens is not such a good uh, alarm clock. <laughs> I was uh, shaking for two hours after it and every sound since then, and is it a siren? Is it a siren? So we just frantically packed some clothes and passports. Actually, the city is empty. Uh, most, most of the citizens left Kiev. And there are uh, a huge traffic on the border, I mean, uh, to go out, out from Kiev. Cherry Markovich says there was confusion about what to do. We first uh, thought that we might drive to the border to get to Europe, but I actually am French and I called the French embassy and they're like, no, actually, we don't recommend. You should just stay home not safe to drive all the way to the border. Before the invasion, the rabbi says there wasn't a lot of anti-Semitism in Ukraine. Now things are uncertain. Of course we are afraid from the anti-Semitic uh, attacks because, because now we don't know what will happen. We're concerned from riots and looting that may happen when there is a chaos. But Rabbi Markovich says turning to God is crucial. It's the most important thing that we will be together and to pray for peace and pray for all the people in the world. The Markoviches say it's impossible to make plans at this point. So for now, they wait and pray. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.